Welcome to episode 80 of the Free Your Energy podcast. And today we are going to talk about adapting to change. I started my podcast in 2018 after years and years and years of people saying, hey, you need to make a podcast. You should make a podcast. I never felt like I was able to do it uh, until I wrote the book Free Your Energy. And once I wrote the book Free Your Energy, then I felt like I was a lot more free to express myself in the podcasting format. So the very first year of my podcast, uh, which was the year 2019, actually, I did solo episodes as a way to express different ways, uh, different topics, different things I wanted to get off my chest, things that my readers wanted me to talk about. 2020, I took the approach of I want to be more guest centric and I want to bring on guests. So I had a bunch of different guests this year. Now, going into 2021, my brain, I've been thinking like, hey, what's going to be the best way to continue to free your energy podcast. And what I realized it's going to be a hybrid of bringing on guests as well as having solo episodes. And the reason why I feel like I want to do both is I like having guests because guests, they bring different stories. They bring different perspectives. They bring different things for me to think about, to introspect on it. They bring different things to our community where we can get value that I wouldn't be able to speak to. But then I also like doing the solo episodes because for three reasons. One, it allows me another form of expression. I think that a lot of people suffer in life because they don't have places to put their expressions. They paint, but they don't hang up their paintings. They just leave them in the closet. They draw, but they're in their sketchbook. No one ever actually sees the sketches. And I'm a big fan of growing with your art in community. That's why I have no problem sharing my words. That's why I have no problem sharing my my podcast, because for me, it's, it's not about being right or wrong. It's not about making errors. It's not about being the best writer, or being the best speaker. It's about growing through community and sharing art through community. So that's why I have chosen to share my art and to share podcasting now. 2021 to be my third year. Another reason why is just because of education. I like to teach and I like to learn. And one of the best ways for me to learn is to teach. Because then when I'm teaching, I'm really introspecting what I'm talking about. Because there has been times, which I'm sure you can admit for your own self, I've been wrong. Where I've, I've said something that wasn't as thought out as I would have liked it to be. And so what the podcasting format allows me to do is it allows me long form to process my thoughts, to process how I feel about uh, different topics. And that's one reason I really wanted to bring back the solo episodes, you know, and then the last reason is community. I wanted to bring back solo episodes. And when I did my solo episodes previously, I always did it in video format and I shared them on my YouTube. Now, if you guys don't follow me on YouTube, I strongly recommend you follow me on YouTube. That's a, another reason why I'm making a change is I want to change my relationship with YouTube. Typically, what I've done this year is I will get a video idea, I'll make a video, I send it to my editor, and then I post it. And it's been very sporadic. It's been uh, some weeks I don't post videos, some weeks I do. Well, here's the thing. To me, it's important for me to post videos. The reason it's important is because the most important thing to me is community. And it's creating a space for a long form thought. It's creating a space for a long form expression. If I'm only making a two minute video and let's say I'm only doing the video to serve you to get the question that you want answered, I'm shorting myself and I'm shorting the community and I'm and I'm shorting the fact that I've created these spaces where we can express in long form. Long form can be 10 minutes. Long form can be 15 minutes. The micro videos, two, three minutes. I no longer want to do those anymore. Because for me, they don't have enough space for what I'm looking to achieve. What I'm looking to achieve is this. I want to create content that allows people to introspect, think, feel, reflect and observe not only themselves, but the people around them. That's why I like writing books. And I personally don't feel and I try it all year. I don't feel like I'm able to do that in a two minute video. I want long form and long form is available to me. What marketers try to tell you is don't make long form. People don't have the intention span for that. People don't consume that. And I'm gonna call bullshit on that. 
That's bullshit. How many of us watch two hour movies? How many of us tune in to a show we like and we watch that show every Thursday or every Friday? How many of you, you have your favorite football team and you watch every three hour game and you watch the pre and the half, the halftime in the pregame? How many of you are fan of, fans of the Lakers like me and you've watched every game since 1996, give or take a few? I don't buy into that. How many of you actually buy books and read the whole book? You buy an audio book, you listen to the whole book. I don't buy into that. That whole don't make long content because people don't pay attention. I don't buy into that. Here's what I buy into. Where you create community, where you create value, where you create entertainment, where you can teach somebody something and it's not boring, they will return. They will return. For me, I appreciate the opportunity to make those short videos, just answering a specific question or diving into a very specific topic. But after you see this video, you won't see that anymore for me. I want to dive in. I want to dive in. I want to dive in. If I can't dive in, I'll just rather be quiet. That's just me. Moving on to the next thing of topic, November 13th and November 16th. I'm very excited for those dates. November 16th, I'm launching a brand new course called Build Your Boundaries. And I'm teaching people boundaries. November 13th is a free bonus call I have set up. The bonus call is for all the students of the course and it's for anybody who wants to get the course and they're considering the course, they wanna know more about the course or anybody who wants to come on the call and just hear an hour of boundaries. Now, if you register for the call, what happens is I actually have a field on there where you can put your question on there. So when I come on the call, what I'm gonna be doing on the call is three things. One, I'm gonna be telling you about the course. Two, I'm gonna be answering the questions on this call, this free call that I set up, uh, that some of you have already asked, asked me. I have 50 people registered right now. And then three, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you like the question you asked me. It relates to the course. You need to take the course. Get registered for the call. If you if you're hearing this news and you're like, you know what, I want that course. Get registered for the course. It's gonna start November 16th. Uh, and basically, the way let me let me let me tell you why I wanted to make the course. I observed this year, and I observed that this year was. Let's just say a lot. Let's just say it was a lot to deal with. And let's just say every person has their own relationship with 2020. And let's just assume that 2020 is a year that we are all going to remember for different reasons. With that being said, I'm thinking to myself, OK, going into 2021, what is something that people need? I look at all the messages I get on email, at my, on my website, on my direct message, in my text community, on my YouTube, on my Twitter, on my Instagram, on my Facebook. I look at the messages. What I see is a boundary problem. That's the number one problem I see is people not having healthy boundaries, not knowing how to be assertive, not knowing how to say no. Like, for example, I'm putting a boundary between how I used to create and how I want to create. And so many people fear that. So many creators fear that. They're like, oh, I, can't. I have to just feed the people. I have to do what's going to get me more likes. No, you don't. Fuck the algorithm. Fuck the likes. You need to create. And this is just for me. You need to create what's genuine to you. You know, for me, when I look back on my work, I want to be able to say, hey, at that moment in time, that was genuine to me. That felt real to me. And for me, making one, two, three minute videos, I don't want to do that. That's not genuine for me anymore. I like I'm a, I'm a deep thinker and a deep feeler. So I need deeper content. You know, I need story. I need depth. I need energy. I need to feel you. You know, that's why I'm making the change. I'm putting in that boundary. And I just see so many people afraid to make a change, to to assert themselves, to say, look, you know, you're not going to treat me like this to develop boundaries. And so I created this course for you. I created it for you. So the course, you can get it on my website, get registered for the course. We're going to start November 16th. Get registered for the call. That's November 13th. Here are my closing remarks. Uh, this episode is going to be titled Compassion as we move through life. You know, this episode was about change. As we move through life, all I want you to do is what I'm offering myself right now, and that's compassion through my change. I could be making a mistake. I could be sabotaging my brand. I could be sabotaging my, my podcast. I could be making myself do more work. I could be costing myself more money. I could be adding more stress to my life. All of those things are possible. And when we when, when change comes to us, we often think about what can go wrong. But you know what? 
I'm going to meet myself with compassion because I deserve compassion. And that's a boundary that I'm setting for the rest of my life. Anytime I go through change, I instantly because I deserve compassion, I'm meeting myself with compassion. You too deserve compassion. So instead of thinking about all those things that could and will and probably will go wrong and all the things I'm going to lose, we deserve compassion. So let's meet ourselves with compassion. Let's meet ourselves with more abundance. Let's meet ourselves with, you know what? This might be the greatest decision for my podcast. This is going to get more listeners to the podcast. This is going to get people more engaged in the podcast. This is going to help me explain myself better. This is going to help me get the thoughts and and, and energy and everything that sits on me off of me. This is going to make my writings better. This is going to help me post less on, on social media, but making sure that I'm posting consistently impotent content. This is going to give me more value. This is going to give me more structure. This is going to give me more purpose. See, and that's what I want you to understand in life is it's all about what you choose to see. As you go through your changes, my friend, I just want you to offer compassion to yourself. That's it. That's all I'm asking of you today. Offer compassion to yourself for these changes that you're about to go on. Compassion, meet yourself with compassion. And when you hear those negative thoughts about what could go wrong, allow yourself to have them. But then also have those positive thoughts and allow those positive thoughts to also live. Allow those positive thoughts to be the ones you remember. Because negative thoughts, we think of them, they come. But you know what? If I'm thinking of negative, let me think of positive too. Let me meet myself with compassion. Thank you for listening to episode 80 of the Free Your Energy podcast. And I hope you continue to free your energy.